Did Sam Bankman-Fried finally admit the obvious? Despite the focus on FTX following its catastrophic collapse, it's remarkable how little we know about how the crypto exchange and FTX's in-house trading firm, Alameda, research. CoffeeZilla, a YouTube rising star who has made a career of shining a light on sketchy projects in and out of crypto, pressed SBF for information related to how different customer accounts were treated at the exchange. It turns out there wasn't much differentiation, at the very least during the final days the exchange was in business, SBF admitted. That effectively meant that there was, you know, if you want to put it this way, like fungibility created between the exchange's spot and derivatives business lines, stated SBF. At the very least, this is a contradiction of what Bankman Freed had said just minutes before when first asked about the exchange's terms of service. I do think we're treating them differently, Bankman Freed said, referring to customer assets used for margin versus staking versus spot versus futures collateral. All of those services come with different levels of risk, different promises made to customers, and different responsibilities for the exchange. But now, thanks to skillful questioning by CoffeeZilla, we know there were instead omnibus wallets, and that spot and derivatives traders were essentially assuming the same level of risk. Bankman Freed noted that during the run on the exchange, when people were attempting to get their assets off before withdrawals were shut down, FTX allowed generalized withdrawals from these omnibus wallets. Before now, Bankman Freed had been asked multiple times about the exchange's terms of service, and often managed to derail the conversation. This time, he failed. <laughs>